this bike from South Lake and we have an issue here. This is a remodel and we wanted to have a more organic look across the back of the pool, which means ideally we want to have boulders and we want to have those in the water. So we redid the beam of the pool to allow that to happen. There's one big challenge though. We have a skimmer over here. So how are we going to handle that skimmer and still make it look somewhat organic? So we actually set a boulder across the throat of the skimmer and allowed us still to ask it access the skimmer basket behind. But in a general setting, it doesn't break things up from the noticeable change in the materials that we're using. So we were able to camouflage this little skimmer and still give the clients the uh, natural setting that they want to go along the back of the pool. This was a very contemporary looking pool before the remodel. And they wanted something that was much more organic in nature. So one of the things that we did to tone down the corners of the uh, tanning ledge was to come in with boulders on these corners to soften the elements up so it didn't look quite as uh, geometric in appearance. The other thing that we have here, which adds an interesting element, is we've got what's called a raised bond beam. Now this is a six inch raised bond beam, and those are probably the trickiest from an aesthetic standpoint. So what we did here is on this six inch raised, is we used the same material as we did on the edge of the pool, the flagstone coping, and we did a dry stack look, so that doesn't introduce a different material in this very small space. Then we also used a tile that was very uh, natural in appearance that blended with the materials of the flagstone. So we tried to stay in the same color tones through here and minimize the material change. That way we've got a more organic looking setting and we don't break things up too much and make it too uh, linear in appearance where we wanted something that was more organic in appearance. So what is this? This is the raised bond beam. Uh, the other thing is with the raised bond beam is if, as long as we don't get more than six inches of height, we don't have to have a bench, which we do have a bench here, or a finger lift. Uh, we have a bench here, so from a safety standpoint, we're doubly as safe in the fact that it's only raised to six inches and we have a bench to sit on. So, thanks to Mike from Southway. We're doing an addition onto the house, and we want everything to flow and tie together. We're doing a dry stack flagstone on the veneer of the fireplace because that's what the client really likes. The power of the house has got brick on it. So how do we tie this transition together? Well, this is the existing column to support the existing porch that's here. This column is very close proximity to the fireplace and to the other columns that we have on the arbor. So we wanted those elements to be viewed together. So we took all the veneer off of this column and redid this column in a dry stack flagstone. However, down here, we have two more columns, and where you're looking at them primarily next to the house, we left these in brick. Okay, so some confusion, although from a view looking out of the family room, you see these columns, they're brick, match the house. From this view in the kitchen looking out, you see the fireplace and the dry stack column here. So that seemed the best solution for us. Just think about all the things you're doing to come up with the best design solution for you. Have an existing porch. With an existing porch, it had an aggregate finish on it, which was very uncomfortable to walk on. It didn't match any of the other elements that we wanted on the project. So in this case, we came in with a flag, no, it's not flagstone, excuse me. What am I thinking? This is slate. Okay, this is slate. We came in with the slate. We used it as a cap over, over the patio, which allowed us not to cover up uh, the weave holes on the foundation of the house. This also, from a color standpoint, matches in with the new materials that we're going to use all out around the pool. Now to do that, we have to provide a joint in between the existing porch and the new concrete, and there's going to be movement, so this is a flexible joint called a mastic joint. It again is in the same color range of the other materials that we're doing, so everything blends together. The idea here is when we're done, we want it all to look like it was intentionally done this way from the very beginning. And hopefully we created that solution on this particular project.